You're tuned in to the Rachel Burnside YouTube channel. It's the only Rachel, your source for beauty, inspiration, and all things lifestyle. Stay tuned. Fruits and Roots Review. Oh, hey, and welcome back to my kitchen. So, you guys, I decided to order some fruit. Now, if you guys haven't heard, there is a company. There's actually quite a few companies, but there's a specific company called Fruits and Roots. And um, they deliver fruit from um, the island. They deliver um, fresh, tropical fruit to your door in two days. You order a box. They have, like, different... Um, types you can actually pick which fruit you want or you can get the seasonal surprise which is what I have here this is the seasonal surprise box so I don't even know what's in this box I'm gonna open it here with you guys and I'm gonna um, show you what's in it now keep in mind some of the stuff I might know and some of this I might not so once I open the box I'm gonna go ahead and clean my fruit soak my fruit and then I'll come back do my research if I don't know something I'll figure it out I'll come back and let you know what it is they have surprised me with um, I wash all of my fruit and normally I get a fruit wash from Trader Joe's I love Trader Joe's fruit wash I haven't been able to find any because everyone's been going crazy buying them um, so I had to get an alternative and I just got this from my local grocery store it's a veggie wash spray so what I normally do is just put some of the um, wash into the sink and I soak the fruit in there and vegetables in there. If you don't have a fruit wash, you can also soak it with some vinegar. So that's what I do. Um, especially since this is coming from out of the country, I just wanna make sure that all is well. So let's open it up together. It's got the little slits in there so the fruit can breathe. And the box says on here that it is perishable and it needs to be opened immediately. So this literally just came in. I have not uh, been sitting on it. I've been anticipating it because I absolutely love fruit. Love, love, love fruit. And I say this often, but I actually believe that I belong on an island, like I'm sure most of you do. My mother is Puerto Rican, so I do get the uh, chance to go visit family with her and I really wish I lived there because it's just so beautiful the fruit is so fresh um, it's also one of the reasons why my husband and I did a destination wedding when we got married we got married in the Dominican Republic because listen that's where I belong so it's got some some paper on top there and then, so I ordered the medium box, guys. This is the medium box. You see that? All right, here we go. All right, here's our first one. Mango. Mango, okay. Got one mango there. Looks like, oop. Dragon fruit. You guys, so far so good. They're actually really good quality. Got some different types of bananas. Now this doesn't look like a plantain to me. I'm gonna have to figure out what type of banana these are and if they have to be cooked or not. These are right here. And I am one of those strange people with like the normal bananas that you know we have here in the US that I don't like my bananas ripe. I like to eat my bananas with a little green on it. So we'll see how I feel about those. I have another mango here and this is like ready to eat. It's nice and soft. Y'all, what is this? I don't know, I don't know what this is. I'm gonna find out though. I know what this is. This is Momoy, right? I think. I think this is Momoy. Okay. 
Guys, so far so good. These all look, they look good. Looks like they picked some really good fruits here for me. Okay, this one is definitely right. It's soft. I can feel it soft and it smells really good. See that there? Okay. I'll probably do a close up on each item once I clean it. It looks like little key limes, which are really good for uh, detox water. I actually have some key limes already, and I'll put like key limes and cucumber and mint um, in a jug and make a big jug of detox water. There's another little banana there. don't know what these are but we're gonna find out today here let me hold the one so you guys can see it there y'all don't be looking at my nails you worry about the wrong things okay still stuck in this quarantine i ain't going to nobody's nail salon i paid them at home but it's about that time so there's a little card in here and the card says, our mission is to spread knowledge on healing and well-being through the variety of fruits and roots that we offer. We donate to the I Heart Africa charity, which helps to provide sustainable solutions to the children of Africa. That I love. Yes, I love that. And then the other side, it says, fruits do not mix well with other food groups and should be eaten alone on an empty stomach. Tropical fruits especially have digestive enzymes that help cleanse residue left behind by food ate prior. Fruit groups to know. Melon is the most hydrating fruit. Melon should be eaten alone since it's the fastest digesting fruit. Digestion time is 10 to 15 minutes. Sub acidic fruits are moderately acidic and digest well with any fruit group. Digestion time is 30 to 45 minutes. Acidic fruits contain high amounts of fiber and are rich in antioxidants, making them the most cleansing digestion, digestion time, 20 to 30 minutes. Sweet fruits have high natural sugar concentration, thus not best for cleansing and take longer to digest, still providing minerals. Um, however, digestion time is 40 to 60 minutes. And then it says on here that there's a fruit ripening guide and you can find more info on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I'll post their information beneath this video so that you guys can check them out and tag them so that they know that I am in love with this box so far. And they put a little sticker in there too. A little fruits and roots sticker. So I am going to go soak this fruit, clean this area, and then I will come back and then I will also probably taste some of them with you guys here on video. So I'll try them and let you know how I like them, okay? I'll be back. Okay, y'all, because I am somebody that pretty much likes most things that I eat, I'm gonna have my husband come in with me and we're gonna taste um, some of these fruits together so you can get my opinion as well as his opinion and you know, two different palates. Um, so come with us, we're gonna try soursop first. Okay, so now I am joined with my husband, Carl. Say hi, Carl. Hi. <laughs> um, you guys can follow him as well on YouTube, Carl Burnside. I'll make sure to post his information in the description of the video. So we're gonna try soursop. Have you had soursop before? No. Okay, so we're gonna try soursop first. Soursop um, is supposed to kind of feel spongy. Mm -hmm. So you don't want it to be like hard, feel that? Oh, yeah. So it's like ready to eat. Yeah. Um, soursop is supposed to have so many benefits. Um, mm -hmm. I'm familiar with soursop tea, which okay. we probably need to get in our house. Okay. Um, soursop is said to potentially mm -hmm. um, treat or fight cancer. Okay. So that's a big one. That's huge. Um, it's also said to be a natural healer for coughs, um, congestion. Also, it's just uh, something wow. that you can have. Look at that, it's pretty, right? Yeah. 
something you can have to help boost immunity, which is great. Look at that. Oh, that is good. Good spot. Yeah. Oh, that's nice, baby. Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, it smells amazing. It smells sour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the seeds are not edible. It smells fresh. So we're going to make sure we don't eat the seeds. Okay. The root is there. And some people eat it if it's soft, but you don't have to. Okay. I mean, it's worth a try if you want. And the way that you eat it, I mean, you can eat it like straight out of the skin. We can cut it down some more if you want. You can use a spoon to eat it if okay. you want to. But um, this is also really high in antioxidants. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty oh, that's great as well. Yeah. Go ahead and take that one All there. Right. Dab on there. And then get this like Ooh, softer thick. part. Yeah, that one. It looks like it's softer down there. Maybe try that. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god. There we go. Mm. It's so good. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. This is a yes. I love it. It's delicious. This is amazing. Mmm. Now, um, sometimes people can find sour stuff at their local stores. Um, I'm definitely gonna oh, wow. start trek, uh, checking. I'm definitely gonna start checking like Whole Foods and Sprouts and stuff for sour stuff. Um, definitely gonna order us some sour top tea because I think we will really like it. Now, it seems like, I mean, maybe this could have ripened up a little bit more, but it's so sweet, the part that we just ate. Yeah. But it looks like, I mean, maybe we'll there's... Let's try that part, too. Mm. Some big seeds. Yeah. I really like it. So how did you find out about this, right? Fruits and Roots? Um, I've been following their Instagram page for a while. I was looking between Fruits and Roots as well as there's another company called like Tropical Fruit Boxes. Okay. Tropical Fruit Boxes seems like it might cost a little bit more. Okay. Um, and then Fruits and Roots is, is black owned. Okay. Oh. So yeah. I wanted to support that. There you go. Okay. All right. Yeah, you see. Now, one thing I will tell you is Fruits and Roots when you go on, you can get a sampler box, which is what I got. Mm -hmm. But you also can order, if you know what fruit you want, you can order just a box of that. Mm. So I can do just like sour sop. Okay. You can customize it. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Very nice. Mm. So I think we should save some for our kids. Because they'll probably love it. All right, kids. Or maybe not all of them. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'd love to see that. Mm. We have three kids and... Um, you can follow our family oh, at the Burnside Story, also on YouTube. I'll post that information in the video. Mm -hmm. We um, are proud adoptive parents. We adopted three children, two girls and a boy. Special babies. Um, I'd say their levels of pickiness range. One of them is not picky at all. Mm. One of them is picky. And one of them is not necessarily picky, but she just doesn't really like meat. She, she doesn't like she flesh. is like a vegetarian. So fruits and roots yeah. might be her thing. Okay, so the next fruit that we're going to try is going to be the burrow banana. Um, now, it's said that you can cook it or you can eat it raw. You know I use plantain a lot. And you can't consume plantain raw. You have to cook that. But I, I make a lot of dishes with that. So I'm excited to try this. They said that it doesn't taste like a traditional banana. Mm -hmm. That there is like a lemon taste to it. Mm -hmm. So um, this one is ripe. And then we have a few other ones that um, are still green. So we'll be able to eat them later. Um, so let's dig into this. Okay, you can't, you can't tear it like a normal banana. Damn. You a ninja or something? I just know my way around the kitchen a little bit. Yeah, you look too good with those knives. Yeah. It looks different too. Mmm.
No, the center, yeah. It originates in Venezuela. Mm. Fruits and Roots has their own, uh, they have their own uh, farm. Mm. And so they farm these. Mm. It does taste similar to like a regular banana. Interestingly enough, so this oh. banana has like the black, it's kind of got the black spots on it. You know, when bananas ripen, they turn yellow and then they turn like black. And you know me, I don't like bananas that like are too ripe. Right. I like it to still have green on it. And so I was concerned that I wasn't gonna like this because it looks like it's very ripe, but it actually tastes closer to the type of bananas that I prefer than like the really sweet I don't ones. know, man. You like, you like bananas that's still green, man. You're kind of weird, yo. Kind of weird. It this tastes is, closer to this is closer the to bananas. Like. It tastes closer to the bananas that I like. No. But yes. He it's likes pretty good. sweeter bananas. Yeah. Okay. So that's yeah. that. Now, these are mangoes. You should know what a mango is. I'm not going to cut into these just because I know what mangoes taste like. I'm sure that I will be impressed. Because just looking... This one probably can ripen a little bit more. It's still a little firm, but this one is soft and ready to eat. And it smells great. Mm, yeah. So I'm probably not gonna cut into this yet, but I am impressed with the quality of it. I'm impressed. Okay, so the next two fruits that we have here are Mamie Sapote. Um, and these are actually in season. And one of the reasons why I ordered the box was to get the Mamie. Um, but the way that you can tell if Mamie is ripe is you're supposed to scratch a little bit of the skin off um, closest to the stem. And if it's still showing like green, then it's it's not ripe yet. So this one actually is not ripe yet. So I'm not gonna be able to um, cut into it, but I will post a picture in this video of a ripe Mamie. And that is what I'm gonna wait for this to look like. I'm excited about it. Mamies are packed with a ton, a ton, a ton of minerals and vitamins. A ton, a ton, a ton. A ton, a ton, a ton <laughs> of minerals and vitamins. Vitamin mm. A, vitamin B, vitamin C. Mm. Like, I mean, it's it's packed oh, with the good so stuff. Bad. Yes. Potassium, iron, mm. all the greatness. So sure, I'm really excited yeah. about this. It's supposed to help um, digestive, your okay. digestive tract, so yeah. digestion. Um, and also it's an uh, immunity builder or you know flu fighter they say yeah. so that's exciting as well so we're gonna try this later maybe we'll post another video when we when we try um and Looks then really cool duh though. you guys i asked what this was earlier and i bet all the y'all were like really it's papaya duh it's papaya um okay so this is not right either this is not right usually when you pick the papaya it is still green and it might have a little bit of yellow, but specifically when you're shipping, you don't want to ship a papaya that is already ripe because it will definitely affect the quality of the fruit. And um, so they, they sent me one that's not ripe. It needs to be more yellow before I cut into it. Um, papaya is also really amazing for you. It tastes really good. It has like that orange flavor when you cut into it. Mm -hmm. um, I'll post a picture of what papaya looks like when it's ripe right here. So you should be able to see what that looks like. Okay, that's a ripe papaya. So something else about papaya, <laughs> papaya is actually um, known for being really high in antioxidants as well. It helps to prevent skin damage, so it's good for your skin. Um, great for regulating blood sugar levels. Mm -hmm. Also said to have cancer fighting properties. Mm -hmm. um, also said to be great for digestion as mm -hmm. well. Um, lots of vitamins are packed in papaya also. Papayas are really, really good in smoothies mm -hmm. or just fresh. So I'm excited to eat this. So we're gonna put our papaya and our um, Mamie away. One thing that you can do when you're trying to ripen fruit quickly, you can get a brown paper bag, put them in the brown paper bag. Mm -hmm. You can also put it in the paper bag with a fruit that is already ripe or close to ripe and it'll help um, oxidize the fruit and, and ripen that fruit. So what I can do is put this in a brown paper bag, maybe mm -hmm. with one of those bananas or that's apple. already ripe or an apple that's already ripe and then it'll, it'll help it to uh, speed up. Okay. 
Okay, so the next fruit that we're gonna try is gonna be this red dragon fruit. Well, we are not strangers to dragon fruit. Not at all. Um, we don't always have the fresh fruit, but we definitely put dragon fruit in our smoothies. Yes. Great for smoothie bowls. You can get it frozen, like in the packs um, at your health food store. Mm -hmm. It's also known as pitaya. This is the red dragon fruit. So pretty, right? Mm -hmm. But you can get a yellow one also. The inside is usually very pretty as well. The way that you're supposed to tell if um, dragon fruit is ripe is by the rich color, and then if it's not like too hard. So, if you want to feel that, yeah, so, so we're good. gonna we're gonna try it. I'm like I don't even want to cut it because it's so pretty, <laughs> but I'm going to. Um, dragon fruit is actually great for people that have low iron. Yes. Um, and I do. So. Yes, you do. <laughs> Ooh, look at that, the juice is coming out. So That's that is one of the things. It is also um, another fruit that is Ooh. known. Look at that. Beautiful, man. Look at that. Show, show the people. Show the people. Oh. Amazing. Amazing. Oh. It's another fruit. Um, this is another fruit that's rich in antioxidants. It is another immunity booster. Great for heart health as well. Mm. And actually it's very uh, high in fiber too. You can take a fork and have at it. It's good guys. It probably could have been a little bit riper. A little bit. But it was good. it's good. Such a treat. Absolutely. Try it. Now, like I said, I have key limes. I buy them and put them in detox water. Mm -hmm. So. Very good for you. I'm not overly She's excited. also addicted to key lime. I'm not but... key limes. Oh yeah, but like key lime pie. Yeah. But I do want to see if this Okay, it definitely smells much more fresh. Yeah, than the ones stronger. we stronger. The ones we got. Mm -hmm. It does. Softer too. Mm, it has more flavor. It's still sour like a lime, but it does have like a mm. tropical taste to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that. I'll save this and put it in a glass of water. Yeah, put it in water. I'm impressed. It was worth every penny. Yeah. And obviously, it's not something that I'm going to do every week, but I'm going to do this um, every now and then, I think. And especially, like, if I just want a box of soursop. Yeah, Or, sure. you know, a box of even the mangoes. They're, the mangoes smell really good. Mm -hmm. they, um, they look really good. You know, most places now here in the U.S. trying to get produce, it is like a war. You know what I'm saying? Like, finding good produce here is not the easiest picked thing. Picked over. It's picked over. Yeah. It's bruised. It's just not good quality. You get it home, you taste it, and you're like, ugh. Yeah. So, knowing that this came from the islands and it got here in two days and you know what I mean it's like it's fresh fruit like that really excites me knowing that they are growing this on their own farm with no pesticides you know it, I mean you can't go wrong you guys I am a believer okay so here we are with our last little trial and I'm gonna be 100 with y'all <laughs> I don't know what this is <laughs> I am gonna take a guess. I think that it's in the um, Sapote family. So I'm thinking that's what it is. I think it looks kind of like a black Sapote. Yeah, we found a friend and everything, and uh, yeah. Um, but no those look a little bit more round, and this looks kind of more flat. Yeah. But I don't know if you guys know what it is. Let us know. This one feels like it's ripe. I mean, it's softer and these are mm -hmm. uh, more firm. So I'm not gonna cut into this one. We're gonna try this one. Okay. Smell it. <laughs> Just gonna it smells, in my face. <laughs> it smells sweet. So aggressive. Okay. 
So I'm gonna cut this one. Which one? Oh. It might remain a mis a mystery, y'all. Oh, it looks like a fig. Yeah. I wonder if it's rotted. I don't know. See first. Mm. You guys, I feel like I know what this is. I feel like I've tasted this before. You guys. Okay, maybe by the time I edit this video, I'll have figured it out and I'll write it in big words across this and be like, duh, this is what it is. But right now, it's not coming to me. So, and this one might be a little bit overripe. It has kind of like that aftertaste to it. My overall thought on this is I am, I am ex I'm extremely impressed. If I were to give it out of five stars, I would give it a 4.8. <laughs> yeah. Like I am very impressed with the quality of the fruit. Um, I'm impressed with the process, how easy it was to place the order, how quickly the, the fruit got here, even in the middle of COVID. Um, I sure. mean, the fact that I can have fruit to my door and it's tropical fruit. And like I said, it's on a farm that they own. Like I am extremely impressed with that. The fruit really did come uh, packaged really nicely. Um, it was packaged nicely. There was like holes in the box so that the fruit could breathe. They made sure that they like really um, put filling in there so that the fruit wasn't, you know, all over the place and um, getting bruised easily. So I'm really impressed with that. If there's any recommendation that I would give on this is that maybe they put what fruits they ended up putting in the box. Like give you a list, say, or with a picture, like this is what this is and this is what it's good for. Um, they did have that little note card that I showed you guys that did tell us like, you know, about the company and what certain types of fruits may do for you, but it didn't say these are the fruits that are in your box. Yeah. And for someone that is not from there, knowing exactly what is in the box, if it's your first time trying something could be, you know, beneficial. So that's my only recommendation. My recommendation would be for them to put more information in your box about what they were able to, you know, send you in your seasonal sample. But I will be ordering again. I highly suggest you guys order again. I'll drop the information on how to order on my uh, description. So make sure that you check that out. You guys, before I go, I have to say, I just have one request. Subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, share, and like. You know, yes. like, honestly, we got to support each other out here. I'll support you if you support me. You know what I'm saying? If you want more videos like this, I need to know that you like what I'm doing. So please, please, please subscribe. It takes two seconds and it won't affect you at all. Just subscribe. Thank yes. you. We appreciate you coming on into our home. And until next time, peace. Deuces.